morning what's up fam welcome back to the channel so i'm gonna do a bunch of videos and it's gonna be more than one video today definitely so please turn your notifications on and welcome back to the channel if you are returning or if you are new and if you have not subscribed feel free to hit the subscribe button it is free of charge and all of you please hit the like as you enter that is also free of charge and does help the channel so i hope y'all are having a really good sunday um i'm having an okay sunday but i decided i wanted to get a lot of news that's out there to you so i'm going to do shorter stories in order to do that but i do appreciate you coming in it does mean a lot um because you could have been anywhere else and you chose to be here and i want to let you guys know that i do appreciate that so let's get into the story because there are new well there is a new law that is taking place hold on that is taking place um, in certain states. Now, some states already have this law in place. South Carolina is one of them. I'm not sure about North Carolina, but pay attention because this could change everything when you go into um, the DMV, whether or not you get renewed for your license or you don't get renewed for your license. So you may have to complete an extra exam if you pay, if you fail the first one. So they're cracking down on driver's licenses. Let me see. Make sure y'all can see this. Yeah. So they're cracking down on driver's licenses and how you get them, yada, yada, yada. New license law comes into effect January 1st and drivers have, and drivers have to complete a test Failing means there's an extra exam that you will have to do. So officials have revealed why they are rolling out this new measure. Um, this new law will impact drivers who want to renew their licenses. It will come into force in months, y'all, in months, because we are in, what, September? And September is pretty much a done deal. And then it's the month of October my birthday month and my mom's birthday month so many people in my family's birthday month but my birthday month october 11th if you want to know so um transportation chiefs are rolling out a new measure requiring drivers to undergo an eye test before they renew their license let me know if that's already happening in your state and if so put the state that you are in that it is happening because people do read the comments so it says drivers in a U.S. state will face an extra test when it comes to renewing their license. And there are consequences for those who fail the new exam. In Kentucky, licenses are valid for either four or eight years, depending on the options Americans choose. I chose the eight year one. So I renew... I believe I renew it's either next year or in 2026, somewhere around there. I'm going to have to double check. So, and there's a consequence if, you know, those people fail, they will have to take a new eye exam. So in Kentucky, licenses are valid for either four to eight years. Drivers will have to complete an eye exam before renewing their license under the new law. According to the state's transportation cabinet, the test only takes one minute and officials do not think the exam will take longer when the law comes into force. Drivers can go to an eye specialist for their choice uh, of their choice and will get a signed form once they complete the test or they can do the test there at the DMV. They have been told to bring the document when arriving at the license um, registration office if they're using a specialist. Now, I have been in the DMV when someone was taking their eye exam and they give you like, I think three tries, two or three tries to you know read the letters or numbers or whatever it is they're looking at. And the person did not do very well on it. 
And so they told them that they would have to go get a test, come back with the test. So it's already in effect in South Carolina. That much I do know. Alternatively, the test can be completed at a licensing reg, uh, regional office for free. If the driver fails the screening test, they are required to undergo another exam. Drivers who need to wear corrective lenses will have this noted on their driving license record. The law, which means if you get pulled over and you aren't wearing your glasses, but it's on your license, they could probably give you a ticket for that as well because they're going to take your license and look at it anyway. So anyway, the law, which stems from a bill introduced in 2021, is to be rolled out in order to improve road safety. Driving is a privilege, they say, many of us enjoy, and the best practice is one way we look out for each other on the road to make our highways safer for everyone, says Governor Andy Bashir. Kentucky will not be the anomaly in enforcing drivers to undergo eye tests, which I need to go get one, when renewing their licenses. States such as Ohio and Missouri have similar measures for drivers. And like I just said, South Carolina as well. But they don't have that in here. Drivers in New York must pass a vision test when they want to renew their license. Eye exams can either be taken at a New York Department of Motor Vehicle office or by an optician. The New York test remains valid for 12 months, but some examiners may rule that the exam expires after six months. So that's crazy. Anyway, the license law in Kentucky is not the only driving measure states will be rolling out in the next few months. In Colorado, it is set to become illegal to use cell phones when driving. Drivers will only be allowed to make calls when using hand-free devices. Road users that uh, fall foul of the new law will have to pay a fine. That fine is $75 for a first-time punishment. Colorado Governor uh, Jared Polis has welcomed the measure and believes it will improve road safety. He probably doesn't even drive himself. He probably have drivers. Anyway, I'm going to get to that part up there. Let me see. Just make sure that's the end of that. So it says right here, what defines distracted driving? I think we already know what they have in here. Rummaging through your purse, glove box, center console, wallet. Don't leave the man out. Why they always say purse, but don't never put the man in there. They be looking through their wallet too. Thankfully, driving distracted can be prevented. Here are some proven tactics to stay focused. And y'all can let me know down below, do y'all follow these tactics to keep from using your phone? Put your phone in do not disturb or driving mode as it temporarily pauses notifications, but will push a call or text through if urgent. If distraction is difficult to avoid, put the phone in a safe place like your purse or the glove box, center console or the back seat. If a text message or call needs to be sent or made, pull over and park. Give the phone to a passenger when um, you can to send a text or a call for you. Um, some people, cars will do it for them. You know, you could hit the button and say, call husband, call daughter and uh, whatever. That's what I do sometimes. Um, be a role model practicing safe driving in front of impressionable passengers helps pass along safe behavior. I got to get better at that. Wait a minute. I'm already good at that. Don't listen to that last part. <laughs> so other behaviors that distract drivers, adjusting the radio or GPS, applying makeup in visor mirror, eating and drinking as it takes one or both hands from the wheel. I want to, can they give you a ticket if you're eating while you're driving? Because I do that all the time. Wait a minute. I don't do that all the time. Forget what I just said. Anyway reaching into the back seat to grab personal items. 
So y'all, if y'all doing all that, you driving wrong. You ain't driving right. You need to get your life together. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I just wanted to bring y'all a little bit of news that you could use and definitely let you know some of the new things that's happening right now. So I'm going to end the video here because I have another video that I have to record. So please turn your notifications on and definitely leave your comments down below what you feel about the new license law. Is it happening in your area? If it is, put that down below. Also, are you a safe driver? And also, you know, put that in the comments. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all do take care. Do, 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 take care. I love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only one you. Be the very best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Time Bites TV and Homestead. I'll call you, but in order for you to hear it, you got to turn your notifications on, okay?